Do you always forget what you say whenever you get in front of a group to give a speech? Well, you don't have to worry about that anymore because in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to memorize a speech. Check this out. There are five steps to this process, and this works whether you are the one giving the speech or you wanna memorize a speech that you're listening to. So, step number one. The first step in this is to write out your speech as if you didn't have a memory system, because you're gonna be doing this anyways. Now, whenever you write out your speech, don't write it out word for word. Never try to memorize your speech word for word. It makes it sound corny or canned or too prepared. Instead, just write out the bullet points there will be brain triggers to lead you what you want to talk about. For example, let's say you have five bullet points in your speech. So you would write these five points out on your sheet of paper as you prepare, just like you would normally do. Now the second step is to use something called the memory palace or the mind palace. It's where you're gonna store the data in your memory. Try this, stand in the doorway of every room in your house and number five pieces of furniture in each room. For example, one, two, three, four, five. Number one might be a desk or a bed or a TV or a refrigerator or a stove or a microwave. Number five pieces of furniture in that room, then go to the next room and number five pieces of furniture in that room. If you have 10 points in your speech that you want to memorize, you're going to need to memorize 10 pieces of furniture. If you have 15 points, you're going to need to memorize 15 pieces of furniture. And the third step is to create images or pictures for those five bullet points that you wrote down. So number one, your first bullet point was is you wanna talk about increasing profits. So you gotta turn that into a picture, something that's gonna remind your brain to talk about increasing profits. For me, I would see money, just money flying everywhere. The second one you wrote down was time management skills. So for this, you gotta think of a picture that's gonna remind you to talk about time management. For me, I would use a big old clock, maybe a huge grandfather clock. The next word you wrote down was communication skills. Well, maybe you could use a telephone for this. See a telephone, and when you do, that's gonna remind you to talk about improving communication skills. The fourth point is you wanna talk about goal setting. So I, you need to create an image to remind you of goal setting. For that, I use a field goal, like on a football field. And number five, last one, your last bullet point was you wanna talk about how to work together as a team. So for this, I think of everybody's favorite sports team, the Texas Rangers. Now, step number four. This is where it gets fun. You take the pictures that you've created and now you just visualize them around the room. If you have 10 points, remember you're gonna need 10 pieces of furniture. 15 points, 15 pieces of furniture. In this scenario, we have five points. We take the first thing that we wanna talk about, lots of money to remind us of increasing profits, and you are gonna visualize that on your first piece of furniture. So if the first piece of furniture that you numbered is a bed, I want you to imagine money flying out of that bed. The number two thing that we wanna talk about is time management. And remember we used a clock for that. So let's say your number two piece of furniture is a dresser. On top of that dresser, I want you to imagine there's a big old huge clock, like a grandfather clock, and it's, it's ringing there or the cuckoo bird's coming out. Number three, the third point in this speech is, is to work on your communication skills. So for that, remember we used a telephone. Let's say your number three piece of furniture in your house is a television. So now you need to attach the telephone to the TV set to remind you to talk about communication. Visualize that phone, maybe it's ringing on the TV set. The more crazy, bizarre, and unusual and vivid you can make these pictures, the better chance you're gonna remember them. Now, item number four, you see a goal post, and that reminds you to talk about we need to set goals. So on your number four piece of furniture, whatever that furniture may be, I want you to imagine a goal post. Maybe you see yourself kicking a field goal right through there and winning the Super Bowl. 
but that reminds you to talk about goal setting. And then on the last piece of furniture in that room, number five, you might see uh, your favorite sports team. It doesn't have to be the Texas Rangers, although I highly recommend it. See that sports team on your number five piece of furniture. And now you have memorized all five points to your speech. The last step in this process, step number five, it's simply to practice. The way you do that is, is you just imagine yourself walking around that room mentally. On your first piece of furniture, you see money there. So you talk about, hey, as a company, we need to make more money. We need to improve our profits. On the next piece of furniture, you see the clock. So you talk about time management skills and how we need to manage our time more effectively. You see the telephone on the next one, and you talk about improving communication skills, becoming a good communicator. And on the next piece of furniture, you see a goal post, and that reminds you to talk about we need to set goals. And then of course, you wrap up your speech by talking about how we should work together as a team. Now remember, there was only five points in this speech, but it could easily have 10 or 15 points, or you could have sub points to each topic. So you might just use more furniture for that. But this is how you give a speech or a presentation from memory. Now this also works in reverse. If you're listening to someone else's speech and you want to memorize their speech, it's really the same concept. You take notes during their speech, just like you would do anyways, and then after you have your notes taken, go back and turn the main ideas into pictures and place them around furniture in your house. And then when you're driving home from the speech, you could literally be reviewing and memorizing their speech. Review, practice, practice, practice. And finally, in this video, I talked about the Mind Palace. It is a really, really, really cool memory technique. And if you want to learn more about the Mind Palace and how to build your own Mind Palace, click the link below or click the link right here. Okay, like a gangster? <laughs> not, not so much. No! <laughs> Everybody's favorite sports team, the Texas Rangers. <laughs> All right.